As appealing as comics made them out to be, even as a kid I understood that getting superpowers would be a trade-off at best. Sure, I might be able to stick to walls or punch out a car, but when all was said and done, there was a good chance I'd suffer for inheriting those strange and wonderful gifts. Comic books are littered with the widowed, the orphaned, and the infirm, given remarkable abilities but at a terrible cost. The idea that I might attain superhood without suffering a Batman-esque parental trauma or Kryptonian loss of heritage was understandably appealing. All it took was the concentrated pharmaceutical magic packed inside a single tab of Miraclo. Meek biochemist Rex Tyler synthesizes what he describes as a miraculous vitamin, or Miraclo for short. Mindful of the potential danger his new drug might pose, Tyler decides to keep his discovery a secret during the experimental phase, trusting only himself to be a test subject. A dose of Miraclo gives Tyler superhuman strength, speed, and stamina. The only downside? Its effects only last for 60 minutes. Well, that is highly addictive. Tyler doesn't realize it at first. He believes it's his altruistic nature that leads him to use his new gifts to benefit mankind. It's only later that he discovers his motivations stem from the visceral thrill of his violent lifestyle, and things take a darker turn. No, I never saw any of those stories. My single exposure to Our Man was a reprint of his origin in the back of some moldy old 100-pager. All I knew was that, for the first time, superheroics might come out of a bottle. Why bother with effort? To hell with sacrifice! Superpowers lay just inside the candy shop jar. With a fistful of Miraclo, I could be the equal of any hero. I just needed a connection. Now old Rex, notoriously tight with his pills, pretty hard for kids like me to get, I made mine out of town talk bread. Uh, it seems silly now, but at the time it did the trick. There was no need to rely on faith, luck, chance, or even hard work. Miracle was the ideal shortcut, the only sensible intersection of science and fiction to my eight-year-old mind. I'd ball up that spongy bread and the tiny pills to be doled out when necessity demanded, giving myself tiger-grappling powers, if only for an hour at a time. There was something inherently exciting about the Hour Man concept. Unlike Superman, who was always super, or Batman, who was at least consistently competent, Hour Man had just 60 minutes to get it right. After that, he was just a schlub like you or me. For a child, it provided an inspired play pattern, adding an element of desperation to the proceedings. I'd swipe my mother's egg timer from the top of the stove and tie it around my neck with a piece of string. With my homemade miracle, I'd set about on the day's adventures. To a stranger, I looked like a lunatic, jumping around, smashing, heaving buses through the air in a bid to save imagined citizens, all the while heedful of every falling grain of sand. Time passed and I forgot about our man as quickly as I discovered him. It's not a knock on the character, mind you, it's just that I only had that one comic and my mother was getting seriously pissed when she needed to time an egg. Years later the character was revived, but by then I was solidly in the Marvel camp. It's funny because thinking about it now, Our Man feels much more like a Marvel character. From his sketchy origin to his unspoken addiction to Miraclo and crime fighting, he fit the flawed hero mold in a way few A-list DC heroes do. But Rex wasn't the only one to be flirting with performance-enhancing substances. Marvel Cyclops used the drug Banshee to increase his powers, while the Young Avengers leader Patriot was shown to be taking mutant growth hormone in lieu of having any powers at all. Batman himself dallied with the drug that came to be known as Venom in the months before Bane appeared, even though we all know that Bruce is more of a drinker. Our man delivered on America's post-war promise that science would forever change our lives. People take drugs to change into things all the time now, but most of them can't be bothered to punch out some scumbags in the process. Me? I haven't taken my Miraclo in a while now. In fact, it's been over an hour. Gosh, it's dark in here. I, I guess I'd better head for home.
For the old guys who like old comics network, I'm Jason Mink. Thanks for watching. <laughs>